She um she got her knitage. Got the female joints. She don't know how to act. Come on in here. I know a lot of y'all aren't at liberty to have an opinion, but I do. So let's talk about this. I, I, I came with facts. I have facts. I don't like how my body looking right now. I'm fasting and shit, man. I'm losing all my husky. I'm losing my husky, man, rapidly. It's the Ramadan, man. Look at my shoulders and shit. Oh, man, I was husky as fuck a couple weeks ago. He said, Gully, you been on fire all week. Jim Jones stayed hungry. What's the problem right now? What's the problem, man? Y'all don't be wanting to tell the truth. I know a lot of y'all aren't at liberty to tell the truth. But I am, and I will. So y'all come up in here. And let's uh let's chat. It's Friday. I think this is um shit. Probably going on like almost a little over a week of Ramadan. You gonna get back, bro? That's nothing, man. I worked hard for I worked hard for my physique. I I had this shirt on a couple weeks ago. I was hurting this motherfucker. Look at my arms. Oh, look at my. Damn. He said, go ahead and roll up. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. That Jim Jones G Unit episode destroyed Dipset. I knew that was gonna come up, and no matter what, no matter how I feel about it, I can't deny that fact. That was the turning point, man. And it just, it just, it, it crippled the mighty diplomats. I wish I still had my diplomat hat. Somebody stole it. Get me through this last hour of work. I'm drafting these document, documents. I'm a paralegal. I got you. I got you. He, Jim let 50 puppet master him. I can't go against the truth, man, especially when it happened in front of us. That's, that was an unfortunate move that Jim made. Santana too, Santana was there too. Do you get any cravings still from the gas? No, I'm, I'm too far along now. And um, shout out to Tesla and Figaro. We back in the building and shit. She's, um, she's, she, she's, she's, she's a Fox um, political analyst. She be over there boxing with the pundits she the person that taught me that word the pundits he said if not any suggestions man i never wanted to quit weed until this year and shit any other time i was forced to to quit uh oh hold on for one second Looking at my email, somebody sent a check. <laughs> I got to be in compliance with my sponsors and shit. I'm looking at my email. Baldini, my fault, G. I got you. Shout out to Baldini out of New Jersey. I'm going to have the link in the description. Jersey. Baldini, I got you, baby. I just seen the email and shit. I think you need to go. You need to go get some knitage and put it with that check, though. We <laughs> straight up, Baldini. You need to go. There we go. Jim Jones is a definition of what persistence means in hip hop. We have this thing going on right now. I'm a fan of hip hop. I love it. I love when niggas roll up their sleeves. I love what Benzino's doing right now in Detroit. Shout out to him. I heard Trick Trick is Trick Trick has had something to say, but if you did, that's a that's a that's an awful look considering that um 
Eminem has made racially suggestive music talking about black men and women. That's just not a good look for you, pimp. But uh, shout out to my sponsor, Baldini, New Jersey. You know what I mean? Sent me this ill joint. I'm going to have a website in the, in the description. Check, right? It's this thing going on right now. I know y'all are aware of it. I made a post last night because I was appalled. I was appalled. I was appalled. I'm a fan of the diplomats. I've kept, I've kept track from start to finish. I know the score. I know the score, right? He said, Cam got more classic songs and albums. No. Cameron or Mace will get deaded by the ghost of Rich Porter. The ghost of Rich Porter. Them niggas don't got one of them. Let's start there. Let's start there. Jim Jones has pretty much established himself as like one of the faces of East Coast hip hop. Like if they had a mouse, Mount Rushmore, put him right up there. Whenever something happened, the other day, like a few weeks ago, I was interviewing some niggas from Rochester, right? SDE can't fuck with a ghost of Rich Porter. It can't. Um, I was interviewing Mugavelli from Rochester, and he was making a comparison about, you know, music in Rochester and music in New York. And the first thing came out of his mouth was Jim. <laughs> I was behind the camera like, damn, man. Jim just get all type of stray shots for no reason. But the ghost of Rich Porter is what, uh, what I would present to the, to the table in regards to any competition. They saying SDE. That shit can't fuck with the ghost of Rich Porter, fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Coke Rush, pick a song. Pick a song. You know what I'm saying? And Coke Rush, that particular song came at a pivotal point in the streets. It was a hell of a drought. It was a hell of a drought leading up to that summer, and I couldn't believe that he put it on wax. I'm like, this nigga is involved. I'm like, this nigga is involved. But anyway, Jim said one thing a few weeks ago, and nobody responded. He said, anybody from my generation want to do a versus or, you know, want some smoke on this hip-hop shit? Let's get it in. He like anybody. And nobody said nothing. Nobody nobody said nothing. Did anybody say anything? Did anybody say anything? Diary of a Mad Summer, Mean Gully, American Gangster, Mean. That Bird Gang shit was fire too with Noe and all of them niggas. That shit was fire too. Jim got ammunition and let's just say this about him. He's great at identifying and developing talent. Uh, Max B, Big Avell, he's from the same building as Cameron, but I guess Cam didn't take him serious. Jim seen something in there, in there and the rest is history. Hard work is always going to beat talent when talent don't work hard. Jim Jones gets busy. He gets busy. And Mace, Mace, the nerve of you. Mace, I met Mace before at the Revo, Revo convention. He's a pretty cool dude. I, I have to say that. He was a cool dude. He wasn't like no phony acting nigga. He took pictures with everybody and showed love and shit. Mace, I don't want to hear y'all talking about children of the corn and all of this crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? My man said the old heads don't want it with Jim. No, no. Jim, Jim escaped the Pusha T battle. Jim escaped that Pusha T incident, and I believe, I believe that's the reason why he feel the way that he feel. He been in the he been in the gym, man, shooting jump shots the last twenty years, man. Y'all have to acknowledge it. Crazy how Jim became the best rapper in the dips. This is true. This is true. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta base this thing on truth. This ain't no diss to nobody, but. Mace, you need to park it. You, your catalog can't do nothing with Jim. No. You need to park it, fam. Straight up. Southside I said, Jim got the New York City streets. He got the hustlers and a bunch of other shit. It's always been that way. And we appreciated that shit. You know, no from Baltimore. We was loving that shit. Uh, Sandman, rest in peace to him. We was loving that shit. You know, um, 
bigger veil stack bundles. Y'all have to acknowledge. Y'all have to acknowledge what the man brought to the table. Now, I'm gonna pass the microphone to you guys in the chat, and y'all tell me what has Cameron done in the last 10, 15 years musically, because it was an attack on um, anything um, in regards to him. He's a superb businessman if you pay attention, but he probably made most of his fortune. Busting, busting moves outside of my music. I heard he like own fast food franchises and shit. Everybody speaks of him to be a, a great businessman. I'm talking about music. I'm talking about music. His first album, I knew he was going to surpass Cam. He said, that's not fair, Cam Chillin. We just said hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. Right? He said Cam made the video in Colombia with the Escobars. That shit don't mean nothing. Them people don't even like black people. They don't even like niggas. I'm 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 more in tune with the the ghost of rich poor to the connects. The streets feel the hunger. <laughs> Yo, y'all better stop playing. Mad respect, but you hyping up the ghost of rich porter. You know why? You can't say I'm hyping it up. The Ghost of Rich Porter is a lifestyle, is lifestyle music. Uh, it's an artifact. It's one of the best pieces of music that came out of New York City in the last probably 15, 20 years. The Ghost of Rich Porter. If you go in catalog, Jim got it, but Mace taught him. I'm talking about what we listening to. Cam Avada was a dope era. That was the, I used to get it in Ohio era. I enjoyed that. And his run with Vado was brief. Vado broke out and went to We The Best, and uh, it just, it never was the same. It probably discouraged Cameron from developing talent the way that that went. Cam, Cameron Come Home With Me is better than Jim Hole Catalog. I disagree. I disagree. It's, ab it's about what you prefer. I'm not here to downplay. Cameron's greatness, but from what I seen, from what I seen, Cameron has two. Uh, let's say he has two careers. His early career, it was okay. It was okay. It what it posed. It posed no threat to them Queens niggas. I was there. We all was listening to Queens. You know what I'm saying? We was all listening to nature. We was all listening to ESCO. We was all listening to CNN. I'm just keeping it real, right? When Cameron came back with the Mighty Diplomats, I'm like, now, goddamn, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? He said, Jim keeps poking the bear. All he said was, and he wasn't talking to them. He said, anybody from my generation, if y'all want some smoke, we can get it. He said, we can get it. Didn't he say that? He said, what's up with the booth? All of those shots taken at um, Rock Nation artists and shit. That shit corny. Let's acknowledge something. The rappers that went to do podcasting, they probably had to go do that. They probably had to go do that. The, the rappers that pursued podcasting, that probably was the best move for them. Straight up. Jim never had to rely on that. He never, he never missed a beat. He never missed a beat. Pusha T couldn't. Jim swaggered all through that situation. He said Jim Jones' verses were skipped on the Diplomat albums. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Jim was kind of rapping offbeat on Ground Zero, and he still got off. He got off on Ground Zero, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Did he escape the Pusha T situation? Did he escape the Pusha T situation? He did. He did. He said Jim always rap offbeat. No, he didn't. Jim's a good rapper now. He's been a good rapper for some years now. For real. 
Y'all bugging out, man. Y'all bugging out. Them shots at the Rock Nation artists and shit. Them niggas doing what they gotta do. I don't think nobody signed with Rock Nation expecting a verse from Jim, from uh, Jay Z. That don't sound like Hove. I don't think anybody was expecting that signing with Rock, Rock Nation. I don't. I don't. I don't. I disagree with that. I don't. Great topic. Yeah, this is a hip hop channel. This is a hip hop channel. So we got to keep this shit gully, man. And from what I've seen, from what I've seen in recent years, Jim Jones is, in fact, the most successful musically of the diplomats. Can we agree with that? He said they beg Pusha not to respond. That's that's a lie. That's not true. That's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Jim got better and better as time went on. Facts. Got to give Jim his flowers. He did his thing after the diplomats. Facts. Jim first album was garbage and it was just better than we expected. I don't recall Jim having a bunch of garbage music. A person with garbage music don't have the longevity. They don't. Somebody just ordered knitted. I'm about to announce your name. So you know this shit is proficient. Hold on. Somebody just ordered knitted. It's not pulling up. Hold on. There's something going on here I don't like. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get the notifications. We in here talking hip-hop on a Friday. Jim went from the hype man to the hottest out the group. Whoever feels that Jim is the hottest in the group to date, put a basketball in the chat. That's how we going to do this. Put your basketballs in the chat, man. If you feel that Jim it has been this... Most successful musically of the diplomats. Doom, 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 We got carrots and basketballs. He said right now, yes. I don't know, y'all. It's a lot of hooping going on in the chat right now. A lot of jump shots. Y'all see all them? Y'all look at the pill. Y'all see the pill? Consistency. He said, what are we going to put in the chat for Cam? Baseball caps. <laughs> put baseball caps in the chat for Cam. <laughs> Yo, put the baseball caps. He said, Cam fell back too much. He said, the drip alone, Jim had it. Where did everybody else go? 40 Cal is doing YouTube. Un is selling clothes and doing YouTube. Hell Rail, his last sighting that I believe was the Upstage album with J.R. Ryder, Hell Rail, and Tom Gist. I don't know where everybody, I don't know what happened to everybody. Jim has been able to stand. Jim has been able to stand on his own. He has. He said, the hunger is real. Cam's freestyles have been on point. Y'all going all around the truth. There's a video out where they were, they was blatantly talking about Jim. Mace can park it, yo. Mace can park it. Mace, I guess Mace chooses to take shots at Jim because of the bullying from back in the day. We remember Betha because of the bullying and because of Jay-Z. Jay-Z ran him over back in the day. He did. Jim kept spitters around him. He'd be soaking it up. Jim, a true hustler. Jim carried the set for the last 15 years. This is true. He said, that's not hard to accomplish. Cam has absolutely no bars, and Santana fell off like a bad bag of dope. J.R. Ryder got locked up. 
Somebody said Cam is richer, period. Don't nobody care about that shit, man. This is hip-hop, man. A motherfucker, a bum off the street to step to the mic and get busy. Haven't y'all seen that? Haven't y'all seen drug addicts, alcoholics, step to the mic and get busy, right? So it, this ain't about money and all of that. I know a lot of people would like to rely on that. They will. A lot of people would like to rely on that. But that's not what brought us here. Hip-hop wasn't so extravagant um, when it started out. It started out in the park. Them niggas is wearing pro kids and shit like that. Getting busy. Kangos, jean jackets. Getting busy. Nobody had a bunch of money. This is the truth. Nobody had a bunch of money. So I don't know when that became a part of the grading system. I don't. You can't hear money. Unless you in there when they when they uh you know got it on the money machine. But that shit don't count. You can't listen to it. You can't listen to it. You can't. He said niggas be glorifying the dollar. Glorifying money that other niggas got. And we here talking about hip hop music. Young Mace was nice. I, I expected you to say that. Young Mace can't do nothing with Jim right now. He can't. Mace don't have a ghost of Rich Porter. He don't. He don't. Jimzy had to, Jim had the East in a frenzy for a minute now. This is true. Jim is the better entertainer. I give him that. But lyrically, Jim Jones was the least. You keep saying was. He stayed consistent with the hustle, which made him a bigger star. Chris Curry, thank you. He said, you acting like Jim is Black Thought or somebody he ain't. Niggas listen to Jim Jones more than Black Thought. Niggas listen to more Jim Jones than Black Thought. Save it. Save it. This is the truth. Don't niggas listen to more Jim Jones than Black Thought? Don't he? Don't girls listen to more Jim Jones than Black Thought? Don't they? Exactly. Exactly. So that don't work. That don't work. Pick another. You got to find another approach. Jim has been putting out ear candy for some time now. One thing about him, whenever he drops something, you just got to go look and see what the fuck's going on. You, you got to go look and see what the fuck's going on. This is the truth. He said Jim outworked the rest of the members. He said one thing. He said them old niggas trying to be funny. Get in the booth. And like I said, everybody, every rapper that pursued podcasting and shit like that, they probably had to. When the last time Mace put out some good music, some good anything, he put out a freestyle diss and puff about a year or so ago. That shit was fire. I heard that it was old, but it was fire. But that's it. That's it. Do, 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 do. Can you stand up? I'm going around asking everybody and nobody will. Jim and American Gangster was a classic. I love your channel. That's the culture talking. Thank you. New generation need to capture a new movement. Someone said he don't need to rap anymore. Nobody wants to hear these excuses from rappers. Nobody wants to hear these excuses from rappers. And, if, and you know what? If it wasn't from the diplomats, if it wasn't for the diplomats, Cameron would have had like a B-list career. He would have. Remove the diplomats. 40 Cal, Hell Rail, J.R. Ryder, Uncasa, Shice, everybody that you can associate. Remove them niggas from the picture. And Cameron has a B-list career. He did. He did. Don't believe me? Go listen to Band from TV. Put them in order. Put them niggas in order on Band from TV, and you're going to get your answer. He said, when Jim made ball and he, he surpassed Dipset, what about baby don't push me away? What about that? What about that? What about that? I'm, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank because I listen to a lot of his music and I'm trying not to pick nothing with people featured on it and shit. 
summer with Miami. Y'all already know what time it is and shit. He said Cam had the best verse on that joint. You out of your fucking mind. You out of your fucking mind. That shit was almost a dead issue when nature got off. And I interviewed nature and shit, right? Nature, nature did his verse first. And when he heard the rest of them niggas, he wanted to go and change his verse. And whoever did, was doing the arranging or production was like, no, don't do that. And they left it. And to this day, it's the most quoted of Band from TV. Nature's the most quoted from Band from TV. Ain't he? He said horse and carriage. Wasn't nobody listening to that shit, yo. Wasn't nobody listening to that shit. Do you know them Queens niggas was on a tear? I'm going to keep it funky. Jim has been way more consistent with the music. And it's been albums, not singles. So, yeah, I agree. As far as Mace, yeah, he can park it. Mace can park it. Yeah. I was there. Them Queens niggas, Jay-Z had to... Jay-Z had to come and break that up a little bit. Them Queens niggas is on a tear. Them niggas was doing so much damage. They said, fuck it. Let's do a Queens Bridge Finest and everybody get on. Everybody get on this motherfucker because everybody was getting busy at the time. Everybody was relevant at the time. They like, man, this is it. This is it. They even went and got Shan. Queens niggas is on a tear, man. I used to, we used to call that shit Averex music. That's what it was. Straight up. He said, say a, say a Jim quotable line. You have me up here singing the ghost of Rich Porter. You will. He said, Cameron was dope around 2000. That's me. Queensbridge Finest and 41st Side from Lakey. I remember that. Cam admitted that Jim surpassed him in music. If he surpassed him in music, why are they taking shots at him? They wasn't talking about... Can you name somebody off the top of your head, this Rock Nation artist is kind of like relevant? He said, you trying to go viral, Gully. Nigga, I go viral a couple times a week. What the fuck is you talking about? I get on here and talk about ants. I can get on here and talk about a rock on the side of the road. Make that shit sound interesting. I don't got to do that. I help other niggas go viral. Didn't you hear about my stimulus package? I got a stimulus package. It's a welfare system for struggling YouTubers. Like Sub-Zero. Don't you see he getting busy? All he got to do is say my name. That's the only way he's going to do anything. Getting back to Cam getting booed in Madison Square Garden. Getting back to Cam getting booed in Madison Square Garden. Ah, uh, man. Sheesh. He said, what's your idea of going viral? Mugavelli and Green Double doing 50,000 views on a music video. And they was basically unheard of. That's viral. That's viral. He said, they all got booed. No. They booed Cam during his freestyle. He did. He said, I'm disappointed in your hip hop judgment. You ain't never spent nothing. That means you're irrelevant. You ain't threw no money around in here, period. So what you saying means absolutely nothing. I'm primarily talking to my, my knittage rockers. Yeah, the niggas in the knittage. That's who rocking the knittage, all the hustlers and shit like that. Those are the guys I'm talking to because if you got knittage, you probably got a car. You know what I'm saying? If you got a car, you probably have a CD deck. Or shade four or five or something. I ain't talking to all you niggas. You know what I'm saying? He said Mugga got his own page with video. Man, that shit did 50,000 views in like two weeks. Get the fuck out of here. That's the biggest look of Mugga career. He'll tell anybody that. He'll jump up, he'll jump up and down on this table and tell anybody that. These niggas in this chat didn't know who the fuck no Mugga Valley was. Didn't nobody know who no Mugavelli was up in here. Boom, boom, boom. He said, Cameron put on the whole Harlem. That's false. That's false. Totally false. 
Mixtape Swag, I appreciate your super chat. Jim brought Max to the to the game. Enough said. Facts. Cam's still the best out of the crew. Bullshit with the most bread. Nobody give a fuck about that except you niggas who don't got no money. Cam can't buy anything that the rest of us who got money can't fucking buy. Don't you know that about money? Don't you know that about money? Don't you know that about money? The same flights. We can get on the same flights, same destinations, same hotels, eat the same food and shit. Who put on more Harlem artists than Cam? Luca Brazzi. Luca Brazzi. Does that answer your question? Because all of them niggas from 45th and Broadway came from Luca Brazzi. You got any more questions? A lot of y'all be misinformed. Y'all be misinformed. A lot of y'all come here and have no fucking idea what you talking about. Jim with body puts a T in a versus battle wise. Facts. Facts. Ba boom, boom, boom. He said Cam bought one third of Rockefeller so his money is a little different. Rockefeller is fucking irrelevant today. You got to put somebody to fuck on to supercharge that shit. Ain't nobody checking for no goddamn Rockefeller. Ain't nobody checking for that shit. He, he might be fulfilling a, a fantasy that he had. There was a time when he was appointed vice president and Hove came from vacation and nullified that. Said, nah, little nigga, you're not. Beans, Beans is here. Bleak is here. It ain't going to go like that. So maybe he's, you know trying to fulfill a prophecy or something like that. Do you know of MEN from East Harlem? I remember them when I first came in the game. They was around. They were still around a little bit. Them, the Teamsters. They was around. Them is like early 2000. Them is like niggas you would see in Don Diva and shit like that. Boom, boom, boom. He said the youth don't care about Jim. The youth lost in the motherfucker. The youth, the youth running around this motherfucker abusing drugs and killing people and shit. What the fuck do you expect from the youth? When you see the crime, when you see the crime rate, them ain't niggas with grays in their beard. Trust me. Doom doom. Baldini, make sure y'all go to his website. He's from New Jersey. I'm gonna make sure I put his um information in this in the description y'all can go get right what i don't like about when i get on here with a lot of y'all y'all be y'all y'all be like y'all go overboard man with the obsessive shit to the point that you won't tell the truth we've been listening to this music we have we've been consumers of this music we have i bring to the table the ghost of rich porter Jim definitely stepped his game up. When that Bird Gang shit was going on, I was tuned in. Me too. Fred Williams, you sound like a homosexual. I'm getting you the fuck up out of here. Y'all got to remember, you're talking to a black man. I'm black. I'm black. You dig? You can't just say any type of shit like that to a black man and shit. You got it? You can't make niggas agree with your narrative. I didn't come here to make a motherfucker agree. Some of y'all are misinformed, so the shit that I'm talking, you're not supposed to understand the shit that the teacher is saying. Mugavelli is texting right now. He said, definitely viral. I did seven features thanks to you. That's Mugga texting me right now. Mug, put that shit in the chat. He said he got seven features thanks to me. Mug. He said, you did that for me, Gully. He's texting it right now. Mug, put that shit in this chat in front of the rest of these niggas. He said, like Sheik Looch, Jim got better and better over time. Seems like Cam fall out with everybody. He just was in my comments like a year or two ago, ridiculing Mace. Now they buddies. 
<laughs> Mace, man. Mace need to park it, man. Mace can't be critical of anybody, man. You you was a preacher. You had a whole church. And now you back online acting like a nigga. What happened to the spirit? What happened to the spirit? <laughs> You talk too much not to spend no money here. I'm kicking you out. Kicking you out. Fuck out of here. Mugger, come in here and be seen. Letitia Allen, I appreciate your super chat. He said, I just seen it live. Mugger, come in here and get your testimony. I appreciate that. Quality over quantity. May still will rap circle. May ain't rapping circles around no fucking body, man. Mace ain't rapping no circles around no fucking body. He didn't rap circles around Hove. He didn't. He didn't. He said Mace still got a church. And he online with the nigga shit. How can you even trust a motherfucker who will resort to that? That nigga went down south and caught the Holy Spirit. Now he's back. When he came back to G-Unit. He wasn't no good. Welcome back. He came back with a, a Mr. Rogers joint. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all must think I argue with niggas and shit like that. I don't do that. There's people that like me. There's people in this chat that come here and enjoy my content. You dig what I'm saying? Some of us has been, have been here for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So that nigga kicking everybody out. Hell yeah. You know, this ain't one of them broke nigga chats. See, when you go on a nigga chat and you um giving him cash app when he begging and shit, you can say whatever the fuck you want. You feel me? You got to pay to say what the fuck you want up in here. That's why they have the super chat clause. You can't just come in here mouthing off like that. You ain't broke no motherfucking bread. You're going to get the fuck up out of here. You do that shit on them, on them welfare channels and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas that got the, uh, what you call it? The GoFundMe channels. You do that. Tyree, I appreciate you. We talking Legacy Cam is way over Jim. We talking about music. Ulysses, welcome to Dribble God Elite. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. He said, Mace is Yakub. <laughs> we here talking hip-hop. Money and how much somebody earned, that shouldn't be a something that we measure hip-hop excellence about let's say, let's say that uh cameron is an excellent businessman but we talking about music have you interviewed any artists from albany nope tell them niggas to come get with the dribble man i got upstate new york on steroids seriously boom ba boom 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 jim jones is consistent but cam is cam I'm not trying to downplay his contributions. I love a lot of Cam's music. I love the diplomats. For me to love and enjoy Jim Jones, I would have to enjoy who brought that movement to the table. This is powerful music we bring to the table. I'm of that fabric. But I've been listening and watching. Jim probably got more music videos than the whole diplomats. He probably do. Let me get you up out of here. Suck a dick on your way out, Cavalli. <laughs> You've been shot. Cam's last project was shot. Uh, was solid. You gotta put me down, man, so I can go check it out. I enjoy good music. Forever King, that's correct. Money doesn't mean you a good rapper. It don't. It's niggas that got money who tried to infiltrate the hip hop business and didn't work. It was one of them, his name was the president. Um, you got one now, his name is Five Mikes, but he's getting better. I'm not here to hating on the dude. He's getting better, Five Mikes, we watching. You getting better, keep on shooting in the gym, my nigga, you look like you on to something. That last joint with Criminal God, and I like that joint, I fuck with it. I thought it was Criminal God's record, I fuck with it. But money isn't, that's not what we measure excellence by. Not even streams and shit, that don't mean nothing because in record sales, that don't mean anything because if that's the case, then Eminem would be the GOAT or he would be one of the best. And we know that ain't true. You know what I'm saying? We know that's not true. So 
Cam can out rap Jim still. Jim been drop dropping consistently for years now. Definitely has the better catalog. If that what you're saying is true, then he should comply with what Jim said. Jim didn't put a name on it. He said, man, anybody from my generation. When he said that, I feel he was talking to a whole lot of people. I can't go back and like uh, measure when the diplomats came in the game. Maybe it was, you know, like when he said my generation, maybe speaking like Beanie Siegel and Memphis Bleak and like who was around when them niggas first came out. I know that right now today, Jim has continued to work. You know what I'm saying? And whenever he puts something out, you got to go take a look. You know what I'm saying? You have to. You got to. That's how we know that the lobby boy shit wasn't it wasn't no good because we went to go take a look. That was a blunder. I'm keeping it real here, man. Like, I don't have no picks in the horse. I'm just telling you, musically, Jim Jones has had the best career musically of the diplomats. He said, why do you think people hate on Jim? His name always come up whenever somebody diss in the East Coast, they'll say his name. Uh, whenever somebody's making some comparisons, they'll say his name. They'll mention his name. Um... I'm um, for real, like, they'll, they'll mention Jim Jones' name before they'll mention 50 Cent, who put out dope music. They will, they will put, they will mention Jim Jones' name when anything come up. His name is mentioned. If it's not first, it's second. I hope Jim Jones would do a collab album with Pete Rock. Salute, Dribble Almighty, Darrell Javon. I appreciate the super chat. I don't know how Jim would do with Pete Rock. He said, would you box up for 20000 Absolutely not. I ain't boxing nobody. I get paid to show my face on film now. I'm an actor. I'm a thespian. I don't got the box. That's for niggas to struggling and shit like that. Niggas is paying me to sit in front of a camera and recite, and recite fucking uh, scripts. You feel me? Some of us have... I, I've left the building. Some of us have continued to escalate and shit like i can't pull these niggas with me i can't i can't and uh shit sub zero ain't no boxing motherfucker man we seen fendi give him a fucking shiner and shit i got the picture i posted on ig fendi blacking that nigga eye so boxing that ain't one of his strong points or nothing like that i don't know if you want to bet on him for real and he might be the type of motherfucker that bite pe bite ears and shit like that. Like, I don't think he's rapped too tight. And, and, and furthermore, he don't want no problems with me. All of his threats have been directed at Uncasa. He act like I don't he, he act like I don't exist. That's because I am six, I am six two over two hundred and in shape. I don't smoke no drugs, I don't drink no alcohol and shit. That might be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So all of his threats, he didn't say he gonna turn me upside down and shake change out my pocket. He ain't passed no threats to me. He chose comedy, ridiculous comedy, corny comedy. My nigga, tonight you should make you another Gully TV video and this time put my face in the fucking thumbnail and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He said, that's why Jimmy hate 50. He regrets that move. He shouldn't hate 50 Cent. He shouldn't. 50 Cent ain't do nothing to him. He said, I don't know how to get in there to comment. You got to subscribe to the channel, pimp. Yo, Gully, when Casa was talking his fly shit, I told him. I missed the part. You, you, Money World, you got to use some commas, man. Boom, boom, boom. Jim Jones featuring Max B, produced by Pete Rock. I got to listen. I ain't never heard it. He punched Fendi first. Yeah, man. Uh, I got a good sucker punch. If I land it, the fight might not continue that day and shit. I got a great sucker punch. I do. I would have sucker punched my man. The one that y'all seen on camera ran up on me with the... I would have sucker punched him, but... I seen him eat sucker punches. I couldn't risk it. It was another nigga that was standing out there I sucker punched before. <laughs>
Straight up. Straight up. I believe in my sucker punch. I do. I do. Some niggas eat them. So, hey. He said Fendi ate that shit. But boom, 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 boom. He said keeping it a stack. Yeah, I'm keeping it a stack. You know what I'm saying? I thought about sucker punching him when he was mouthing off. Cause that's what I do to niggas when they be in the day. Well, he wasn't close enough anyway, but no. Nah. Taj Mahal don't know. I could have decked his ass at Ghostface Party, put his ass out. He don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? He said, and he called you a fag. That wouldn't be an insult to somebody like me. I'm not a homosexual. That only will probably upset someone who has that activity on a jacket or engage in that type of shit. That shit don't upset me. Why would that upset me? Anybody that's ever came here and had any contact with me in real life know that I'm hyper-masculine. It don't fit. Boom, boom, boom. Scotland, what's up? He said the Pete Rock track is called We Roll. I got to check it out. Jim Jones been trashed. That's why Pusha T didn't answer him. Boom, 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 boom. He said you didn't think about shit. You were shook. That shit's corny. Shit's corny. I really shot niggas. If you go look up my case, I shot an older nigga. You know what I'm saying? About fucking with me. And you know what he did? He told on me. And when I was in jail, he, he told my people, I, I, I'll come and change my testimony if he give me the title to his car. That's what niggas be doing. I, did, I wasn't about to go through that again. Blow my businesses and shit like that. That shit happened in front of one of my businesses. I had two stores simultaneously. One on 13th Street, one on 17th Street. Both of them shits booming. He said, I seen, uh, he said, I seen a nigga eat a sucker punch before. That nigga's retarded. He, he's retarded. Then you see him, he had on elbow pads and shit like that. That's not normal. That's not. He probably would have ate my sucker punch. I would have been in some trouble then. I had my ice on and shit like that. Nah. I had options. I had options. <laughs> I don't see how people can hate on Jim. He really outside helping the younger artists, giving them verses and helping while a lot of artists is nowhere to be found. He said, y'all would have had to wrestle. That nigga's a state champion. His name is Fred Cooper. You can look it up. We was on the same wrestling team. He's way out of my weight class. Wrestling, that wouldn't have did no good. He's one of the best in the state. He won the state wrestling championship before in Pennsylvania. You can look it up. You can find this shit. Gully, name two Jim Jones albums hotter than Cam's Confession of Fire and Purple Haze. I'm going to go Hustler's Poem. That's what G's up, holds down, I believe. And the Ghost of Rich Porter. He said, broke niggas be quick to throw away it all. No. I couldn't do it. I didn't even own that building yet. I ended up buying that joint. I was still paying on that building, man. I couldn't blow my hand. If I would have went to jail, my people wasn't going to complete that purchase. That shit would have went to the fucking tax sale. I wasn't going out like that. He said, no wonder he came out like a wrestler. He's really a fucking wrestler. We wrestled on the same fucking football. I mean, the same wrestling team. That was one of my first sports. Straight up, I got pictures with the wrestling uniforms, trophies and shit like that. No bullshit. You think Sub got touched in jail because he's always talking about people getting their booty took? Nah, I just think that he's disturbed. Anybody that will do what he did to Loaded Lux, you know, that situation, and not try to clean it up, made another video even after people said that the nigga was living, you know, even at, he didn't even take the shit down until the video got uploaded. You know what I'm saying? He said, Hustler's home poem was a dipset dip compilation. No, it wasn't. Jim Jones is on the front of that joint by itself. He said he was ready to give you the people's elbow. 
he wasn't about to trick me off the streets. I know somebody that he that he did that wrestling shit to, and the nigga opened fire on him, and he pressed charges, and made the nigga pay him off. Y'all don't know that. I wasn't going through that shit at all. I just was listening to a guy from New Orleans somewhere who just came home from the feds, and he said, man, I can't go back to jail. He said, that shit dangerous now. He said, that shit dangerous now. He said, it's dangerous as fuck. He was like, yo, them niggas don't got knives. He said, they got walking, walking, walking stick knives, canes and shit. He was like, most of the federal system now is filled with niggas with gun charges. This ain't, you're not going to the federal system now and being around a bunch of niggas that's about getting money and shit like that. Who you think got the knives? Niggas that get money on the streets, they continue.